Okay guys, we have landed. No, not London. Not Birmingham. We have landed in Sarajevo. And it's absolutely chucking down. What was it like? It was like 37 degrees all week. All week. The Englishman arrives. He's down the rain. But it's okay. It's okay. It'll get better. We're going to enjoy our trip, guys. Stay tuned. Beautiful apartment. Here we are, guys. <laughs> one hundred euro per night. That's what it's doing. Yeah, around one hundred. It depends on the season. You can get it cheap in the winter, obviously. But come, come, come. Bring the camera out. Look at these views. Can you Look, open the window for me? Can, can we open this? Yes, I, can. I, I don't know how to open this. <laughs> <laughs> we got a three D this far. Can't put. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Mate, it's like all right. <laughs> That doesn't include the price. <laughs> ah, that's, that's fair enough. It's not being in a jail, but it's still definitely worth 100 euro a night. Look how stunning it is. Honestly, it's amazing. We have the beautiful, uh, that's, that's bigger than a, a king size bed. That's, it, that's, that's the master bedroom, bro. Yeah, I'd say that's, yeah, that's bigger. I'd say that's and we bigger. have like beautiful books up here. We have complimentary snacks. complimentary snacks, bro. We have complimentary snacks. We have tea, coffee. My advice, so if you are from England, bring your own tea bags because English tea is the best. <laughs> no word out of you, mate. Uh, okay. We look at the toilets. We have a, uh, the toilets, the shower. Beautiful shower head. Look at this. That is the creme de la creme of all showers, I promise you. Nice little mirror admire the beautiful looks of our people. Uh, we'll take a look outside. Look, this is what you get outside. Walk outside, please. Can the woman? Big shout out to Victoria. She's a uh, soup. <laughs> also, also, if you are a joy. Just your head, guys. Yeah, like, yeah, this is good sign. This is good. This, ha this happened naturally. Um, you can bang your head on there. I'm not even that tall. So if you are tall, maybe crouch down a little bit. But honestly, no, super. So, come here, Victoria. Look at this, look at this. This is your entrance to the garden. Come on, come on, Victoria. <laughs> right now, it's estimated probably about 35 degrees. Yeah? Victoria, come here. Come on. Follow me, follow me. Look at those views as well. Super. You got restaurants here, you got bars here, everything what you need on your doorstep. Please go and check out these people. Great hosts as well. Big up to them. Thank you, Victoria. Super You're welcome. Camera. So how is it? Mm. Oh that is. Even the roast potato is nice. Okay, that interesting. Is. And I'm from the roast potato country. That is actually really nice, man. But this lamb, I'm actually jealous. I want to watch you first. Let's try it. Let's try it. Mm. Juicy, right? It's not dry. How juicy is that, bro? Unbelievably juicy. I'm definitely giving that a 9.9. 9.9? Good. Because I think England can go 10. Well, uh, that, okay. that, that might be my bias speaking. But I have to give it a 9.9. That is absolutely sublime. Really superb. Get here to Bosnia. That is, what, that is the best lamb I've ever seen, apart from outside England, of course. But yeah, 9.9.
Okay guys, I think I've reached into the old town. Don't worry, it is super early on the morning. And I think me and that worker down there are the only two people awake in the whole of Mostar. But I thought I'd get some film whilst it's quiet. And then we'll compare it when it's probably be busy later on tonight. But uh, look how beautiful it is. I mean, I don't know about these stones though, when you've had a few beers, could prove costly after a few drinks, especially going off this, coming down this hill. But look at this. How amazing would it be? I mean, I'm sure there's loads of places. Look over there as well. You can just have a beer, have something to eat, and admire those views. Superb. Wow. Right, bro. All right. So, this is the famous Mustar Bridge. In all its glory. Yeah. So everyone jumps off here. Yeah. I mean, not everyone. I mean, you're not allowed to jump. I'm not allowed to jump off here. So, so here's the thing. You can jump. No one's gonna tell you. I mean, they're gonna tell you don't jump. It's not. It's not. It's a bad idea. Mate, I, if I was to jump there, I, I, mate, I can't even. Swim. I wouldn't even jump off that rock over you, there, bro. You'd probably die. <laughs> yeah. So this is the death bridge. This, this is the yeah. death bridge. And if, unless, unless you're Bosnian and know what you're doing. Unless you're Bosnian, yeah. I mean, they, they can train you. They do offer training. And when, when they properly How can train, you train for something like this? There's a little platform over there. Oh, yeah. You go, you know, step by okay. step. Okay. And then, um, you know, when they do train you and they're ready to jump, there's a book over There's a book over here. And they, you know, you sign your name in the book that you officially jumped from the... And it doesn't matter if you die, then it doesn't... It, you can't sue the, the Bosnian government. Then you're going to be a few other books. Not, yeah. <laughs> not just that one. Like the Guinness Book of Records. Uh, the, the, most, the, mo the most the most killed is on this bridge right here. I mean, look, look at the... It's not even... It's not even a great bridge to jump off. I mean... Yeah, I mean... How old is this bridge, by the way? Yeah, how old is this bridge? So good question. It was, it. Good it question. was built in the 16th century. 16th century. And every year, uh, there's like the local the competition that they jump from the bridge. It goes on every year. Time, yeah? That's, yeah. Renan, 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 Renan. We'll put a bit, a little bit of French sophistication yeah, behind it. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you Renan. Bonjour, Renan. There you go. Don't say uh, how you said Yablanica before. Yablanica. Uh, Yablanca. Yeah. <laughs> he called it Jablanca, by the way. Let's go over there. We'll expose him. He, he said he said, he said, said Jablanca. Definitely not me. It was definitely him. Fine, yeah. Yeah. She's kind of right what she's saying. And they were like, oh, when will we be in Jobranka? And I was like, what? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why she's pointing at me. She exactly. should be pointing at yeah. him. <laughs> Obviously, he's got some kind of favouritism over it, this. It, it was me. You know, you know. De I'd good. definitely call this racism. Racism towards the ginger race. This is what's going on here. Fun fact. What do you think? But yeah, go on. For? Fun fact. All uh, right, yeah. So what is this? Uh, yeah, what's going on here? Well, here's I'm going to predict it's for horses. <laughs> well, <laughs> 16th century. Back when horses actually, you know, walked the streets, carriages, you'd have whenever the rain, you know, when it rained, it, this would be very slippery. Or even today, it's yeah. extremely slippery. Of course, you can so tell. This so the horses could get some grip, you know, while crossing, galloping across the bridge. Yeah. Because this was the main trade route back then. You didn't, you know, you didn't have that bridge. You didn't have that bridge. Like you know, most of it was pretty much just you know these two towers. So that's this tower is called Terra. That one's Calibia. Oh yeah. And the, so these were actually you know used as kind of guard towers. You know, because like um, obviously this tower isn't that big, right? Like these towers aren't that big. But you gotta keep in mind, like for example over there, like all those like the buildings, the yeah. roofs, everything. Like you can see everything, or you could before from the towers. Like it was a good vantage. Yeah, 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 I get that. And, yeah. You know, is obviously the town, like the main center of the town over there, like that was built in Austro Hungaria, Yugoslavia, whatever. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it didn't exist. It was just a straight field, right? Like this was most of. So this gave you a really good vantage point of anyone that wanted to cross the river. Yeah. Because this yeah. is one of the only places where you could cross the river, right? Yeah. So that's. I mean. Place. In England, if these were installed in England, it would be for the drunk people right. to be able to concentrate more to get up the. Uh, the right. Yeah. Maybe a bit more railing. <laughs> we we, we do need a bit more railing because we'll probably fall out and right. drop down there. Right. And right. And right. Kill ourselves. You know, not yeah, nice. I mean, here, if you fall off, at least you get signed in a book. 
You get signed in the book. There you go. And the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> but this this has got a bit of a history behind it. Victoria, so this is where what? Sniper Tower. This is the Sniper Tower, yeah? Yeah, it is. Wow. And we can actually go in there if we want to. Sir. So that's the Sniper Tower. Sniper Tower. So much history behind that. Yeah. So it, it was built, built. It was just built for a bank. It was built for a bank, that was. For a bank. Before and the they war. converted it into a fucking sniper tower. It was just before the war, so bank didn't start working either. Yeah, of course, yeah. And they changed it for the sniper tower. Wow. And look what they did to that building, look at it. Yeah, look at that building right there. It's not like that building was torn apart because it's old. Because it was hit. Yeah. People used to live there. Results of a war, guys. from the war. It's mostly to do with politics. Oh. Yeah. Type of stuff like... They usually say they don't know who the owner is if it's like a ruin. They don't know yeah. who the owner is so they don't want to destroy it or whatever. That's... I don't know. It's stupid. But even these things... I don't know. It, the town just... I don't know. A lot of people say the town just wants tourists to see this because they like it. I, <laughs> it's stupid, but yeah. It's not stupid. I like it. Yeah, well, you, uh, no, you're English, like. obviously. <laughs> What are you trying to say? You've been like a hundred wars. <laughs> you're gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cheeky so and so, isn't he? It? <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah. So, okay, bro. Um, tell me a little bit about this bridge. So this uh, bridge is called, you know, Riva Tupia, which literally means like, if you look mate, at it, mate, slower. We are English. You don't Ooh. understand. Blah, 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 blah. That's Ooh. what it sounds like. If you look at it, it's literally called the Crooked Bridge. The this Crooked Bridge. Pretty much. Just say that in future, yeah? Pretty much. But go on. What's pretty the history much. behind this? Um, so, you know, it's uh, it was actually made before the actual bridge. What, this was here first? Yeah, this was here first. It was used because mm. there was no other way of, you know, crossing the river. This this yeah. one was called Radabola. It's not the main one. There was no other way of crossing it before. This was like so they built this bridge as a kind of a main trade route from you know yeah. to connect the two sides. Um, they also like if you look at it, you see it's very similar to the old bridge. They use it as kind of a, I guess you could say a proof of concept um, whether or not an actual arc bridge could be built. So when they built this, um, shortly after the old bridge was constructed, so what well, because this. Bridge got built successfully. Yeah, it was wow. a concept that you can actually build a bridge with a singular arc. And yeah. Brother, what's going on over there, man? There's a toy there, there's some rubbish there. Come uh, on. Yeah, I can not really tell you much. I mean, about that, that. that is beautiful. Look, look how beautiful yeah, it is. Beautiful and then we get this rubbish right. over here. Yeah, I mean, it's. it's that's you know, Bosnia all over right there. I'm, <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only joking. It's I'm only a joking. A bit of negligence, a bit of restaurants, a bit of random people, a bit of tourists. When you combine all of it, it's just. Way dirtier. That restaurant as well looks beautiful. It is. And by the way, uh, why is this bar called? Um, which one? This bar. No. The only one there. <laughs> this bar. Yeah, the we are just asking because you know Sonia works there. Leave Sonia out of this. <laughs> it, honestly, if you if you if you come to Mostar, this is the bar to go to. Very good. Very good atmosphere. Yeah, the cup bar. I don't know if you can really pronounce. The copper bar. Cup. Like cup. Pub. Cup. Oh, look cup. at this, look at this over there. That's in the cup, that's in like KOP. Yeah. That is beautiful. Okay guys, we have uh, Bordak, yes? Is this Bordak? Yeah, okay, with cheese. So one of my good friends from Macedonia actually advised me today, this very morning, to try it. But as if my good mate, Victoria, my other, my Polish sister over here, has kindly bought me Bordak. And I didn't even ask for it. What, what is actually, is in this um, Borak, Borak? It's Borak. like French dough with cheese. French dough and cheese. Cheese is my favorite. It's the creme de la creme, let's call it. It's 
It's quite warm actually. Do you have to eat it warm? Yeah, it should be warm. It's quite it's warm. Right, better right. warm. Mm. This is freaking sticky. It's tasty, it's very tasty. Right, very tight though. Smash after. It's still hot. It's still hot. Was it a review? Uh, review. As if. <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> what do you rate out of, out of 10? <laughs> I will go 8.1. There you go. The Borlak is better rated by the Englishman than the Pakistani man. <laughs> Gussie, these are great guys behind me. So helpful, so amazing. And they said, yeah, like we're open all night so we can just you can just chill here. This is because my friends, my great friends have challenged me. I bet you can't survive with no money uh, and uh, do not buy apartment, a hostel, anything like that. And, and it is actually really warm, by the way. However, guys behind me, fair enough, does not want to be put on film. Gutted, so gutted, because they are actually great lads and telling me some amazing stories. Like, as you can see, like, there are people behind, I'm not, so I'm not talking, um, I'm not talking shit, but I have to respect those wishes. Um, honestly, guys, the whole point of doing this is to prove to you that even if you haven't got much money, you can actually come out and have a good time and meet some great people. I'm gutted that you, you, you're not seeing um, the conversations I'm having. Oh, and one of you, so there's like deck chairs everywhere that I can have a sleep at. It's quite warm. It's probably about 25, 30 degrees. Got it, they won't come on cam. But it is what it is, it is what it is. Just trust what I'm saying. And I'm representing Birmingham. But look how beautiful it is, guys. Creme to the creme. Okay guys, it's like uh, uh, 4, 5 a.m. On the streets. <laughs> beautiful man. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, people, that journey has come to an end. Absolutely amazing. Didn't see as much as I would like, but I've done a lot of traveling over the past 16 months. It was nice to just relax by the river, looking at the beautiful scenery, going to the waterfalls. Um, I do plan to come back to see more of north of the country, uh, like Sarajevo, like uh, Republic Serbska. Is it? That's uh, an entity, so. Okay, like yeah. Lucas in Republic Serbska. Okay, yeah, so. But plan to see all this in the future and obviously come back to see my good boy out mate what a top man thank you so much for everything you've done thank you to everyone who tuned into the video please give a subscribe to the channel if you wish to see more travel vlogs in the future i will be returning back to this country to see more of it in the future also if you want my tour guide renad he's a top guy i will leave his instagram in the description guys have a good evening peace out